Hello friends, welcome to SourceCat tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you about Fillet and Chamfer tool of AutoCAD. So, first we will start with Fillet tool and for that I will make a rectangle here. Let's make a rectangle and let us make lines. Something like this. Okay. Now, start the Fillet tool. And here in the current settings, you'll find that its mode is trim mode and the radius is 1 unit. Although you'll find that in default case the radius is 0 units. So at first you need to specify a fixed radius for this fillet. So go to radius and specify the radius which you, you want to apply. In this case, I'm going to apply a radius of 105 unit and press enter. Now click on the corner, click on the first line. Then second line and the fillet of 1.5 radius will be applied between that corner suppose you want to you want to apply that fillet on this corner for that repeat the process select radius you specify the radius this time it's one unit select the first line and second line and the radius will be applied you can do so in this case also so go to fillet radius select your radius and now in this case if you select these two lines, this line and this line, the fillet will be applied between these two and these two lines will be deleted. If it's these two lines, then obviously these two lines will be deleted. And similarly for other case, right now I'm selecting these two lines and you'll find that the remaining lines are deleted. Okay, this is how you can apply a basic fillet. Now let us explore all the remaining options of fillet tool. For that, I'll make few rectangles here. Go to fillet and radius. This time I'm, sorry, I'm selecting the radius of one unit. And now let's select polyline option. So once you click on polyline, you'll be able to fillet all the edges at once. Just click on any of the side, and all the sides, all the edges will be filleted. But you need to make sure that this closed geometry or the open geometry as well should be made with a polyline then only you can apply this fillet tool. So click on fillet, radius, apply a radius of one unit and now click on this multiple. Once you click on multiple, you'll be able to apply this fillet without going through the command time and again. The command is still on and you can select your edges on which you want to apply the fillet something like this so to terminate this command now you need to press enter or escape key so this is how you're going to use the fillet tool we have something more also in this tool for that let's make another rectangle go to fillet now we have one more sub tool here that is trim so click on trim and now you'll find that by default trim mode has been selected so let's go ahead and select no trim mode and enter a radius of one unit again now let's apply the fillet so once we apply the fillet you'll find that the fillet is applied but the line is not trimmed the extra corner is still there and it has not been removed that is why that is what a trim mode does so click on trim mode again and this time select the trim mode and now radius one unit and I repeat the process and this time you'll find that the extra extra corner has been removed you can even use fillet tool to join two lines which don't intersect each other for example in this case if you wanted these two lines at the apparent point of intersection you can do so using the fillet tool so go to fillet and radius and select a radius of zero unit now click on the first line and the second line and you will see that these lines are joined at their apparent point of intersection also you can use fillet tool to trim the extra edges for example if we have a case something like this and we want to trim off these extra edges now select fillet again radius and zero now select this one and this one and these two will be joined trimming off these extra edges so you can use fillet tool to do these two operations which are not exclusively made for fillet 
but yes you can use them now i'll go ahead to chamfer tool chamfer tool is again similar to fillet tool with a slight difference that in case of fillet you are supposed to enter radius and in this case you are supposed to enter the length of sides so select chamfer and now here in this case you will find that it's in trim mode and the current chamfer distance 1 is 0 unit and distance 2 is 0 unit so you need to first specify the distances so go to distance and you specify a distance of 1 unit and press enter and the second unit I will take it as 2 unit and enter now you are prompted to select the first line now whichever line you will click first will become the first line so in this case I am clicking on this line and this will become the first line now the second line click on this now you will see that a chamfer has been made with a length from this corner to this one as one unit and from this point to this corner as two units okay so let's go to chamfer again and this time select the trim and no trim mode and repeat the process using distance first distance one unit and second distance two units this one will be the first line and the second line now here we have the remaining lines now let's go to annotate and check whether what we are doing is correct or not so there you go you can find that it distance is two unit and this distance is one unit so you can check your what values using this method also now let's explore other remaining tools in chamfer so we'll go to chamfer and you have already seen polyline and it's quite similar to the fillet tool we have seen distance we have seen trim and multiple now we we have two remaining option first one is angle and the method so let's go to angle first now angle now you are supposed to enter the first line fill a chamfering length so I'm entering a chamfering length of one unit and then the angle the angle in this case is 30 degrees now once I select the first line and then the second line a line will be made where this angle the angle from first line is 30 degrees again you can go ahead and check it so let's go to angular click on these two lines and okay as you might have guessed if this is 150 this should be 30 but still I'll make it 30 here so you can see here it's 30 degrees and the length of this one is 1 unit you can see that uh, no trim mode is activated so let's go to chamfer trim and activate the trim mode and now make it with extra edge removed now the method so let's go to method and in method you can select the method of making a chamfer that is the method in which you are prompted to enter two distance values that is distance one on first line and distance two on second line and the second method in which you are prompted to enter the first distance and the angle which we have done in this case here so you can select either way I have selected distance now you can specify the distance values so distance one and distance two is again one unit and now let us select polyline in this case and here it is so this was all in fillet and chamfer tools i hope this made your concepts clear and if you like this please subscribe to my channel there is a lot more to come and keep learning thank you for watching